Hey folks, this is Jason Good with The Good Life Outdoors. I'm going to be doing a catch and cook today using the little pig that I shot at the Chaparral Wildlife Management Area while we were on our javelina hunt. Now if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link to the video below. Uh, but today I want to use my Instant Pot to make a green chili or a chili verde with this wild pork. Um, it's a really easy recipe. It's kind of a dump and cook. Uh, very few ingredients and nice and easy and I think it's going to turn out really well. So I love using the Instant Pot for Wild Game. You've probably seen some of my other videos with me using that. And in this case, I'm going to be using this little pig uh, with just some simple ingredients. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy it. So this is a pretty simple recipe. Dump and cook, a lot of pre-made ingredients, a couple things to chop up. You got some tomato with chilies in it, some green chili enchilada sauce, some green salsa, white onion, garlic, and of course the pork. Okay, we're gonna start with our onion. All nice and chopped up. Then we'll mince up a couple of cloves of garlic. Well, maybe more than a few. Can't really go wrong with garlic. So I've got the Instant Pot ready. And what I'm going to do is hit saute so I can saute the onions and garlic. And then from there, we're just going to put everything else in the pot. Okay, now the pot's nice and preheated. It does take a little time for this Instant Pot to get up to a nice saute temperature. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. And I'll add the onions. I'm going to stir these up. Add a little salt. We're just trying to get these soft, a little translucent, and then we'll add the other ingredients. All right, those onions are soft. I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic and get those sauteed up as well. Stir that up. We don't want this to burn, so we're just going to give it a quick stir around there and just let it get some heat going. And then we're going to add our pork. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting that in there. Now, this is a lot of pork all at once. I'm not going to try to saute this or, or sear this at all. I think this will be just fine as it stands. And if you're doing this large of a batch, you probably do want to have the larger eight quart uh, instant pot like I have here. So I'm gonna mix that up with the onions just to get that nice and, and working. And then we're gonna start dumping in the other ingredients. So I'm gonna start off with both jars of the green salsa. Oh wow, that looks good. The tomatoes with chilies. And then the four cans of enchilada sauce. Now that has definitely made a big ol' batch, so we're just gonna have to keep an eye on this as it cooks, but I'm gonna mix it all up, get everything working on here, because there's a lot to come together here. 
All right, now that that's all mixed together, I'm gonna put the lid on the Instant Pot. Make sure that it's all nice and sealed. And then I'm gonna come over here and to turn it off, hit manual. I'm going to set this for 45 minutes. And that's gonna get that going. Okay, while that's cooking up, I'm gonna whip me up some quick cornbread. Love cornbread with chili, red, green, or whatever. So a little lesson learned with this Instant Pot. Uh, usually when I'm making a recipe, it fills it up about halfway, but like you saw, this is a really full uh, recipe. And in that, it's taking a long while to come up to a boil where it gives enough pressure to kick off the pressure cooking. So, been a while and still not up to pressure. And then I've got 45 minutes of pressure on top of that. So give yourself some time if you're gonna do this recipe. A little lesson learned. Mmm, that looks good. I'm gonna thicken this up a bit, so I'm going to pour in a little bit of cornstarch mixed with water just to give it a little bit more thickness. Mix that up. So it'll come to a boil on the set, saute setting for a little bit. Should be good to go. All right, we're gonna ladle some of this up into a bowl. I have given this little test taste and it is fantastic. So get a little bit of that going. So here on the plate, a little cornbread. Sliced avocado. Lime to squeeze over it. And a little queso fresco. Now, right there, that is a meal. Cheers! Man, that was good stuff. Yeah, really easy recipe. Uh, a couple of notes on that. I, you know, I used five pounds of pork. It made it a lot. I mean, I'm gonna have this for days, plus I'll probably be able to freeze most of it uh, for a later date. Um, so you could easily, easily cut this recipe in half. Uh, and I'll post the recipe down below so you can follow along or cut it in half. Uh, for a more manageable meal that takes less time. It did take quite a bit of time to come up to speed. So, I hope you like what you saw. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification button so you know why I post new videos. 
Now I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.